Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisarga Gadam and today we are going to talk about obviously the topic on the board machine learning. In machine learning, we have different machine learning models such as few of them are retainable and few of them are non-retainable. We are talking about the machine learning using UiPath AI Center. This video is dedicated for them who really wants to learn machine learning, who really wants to know how AI Center works and how you can utilize machine learning in your UiPath or RPA workflow. So in this video, we will talk about how exactly retrainable and non-retrainable machine learning models works with a basic example. So as you can see on screen, sorry on board, uh, we already have predefined sets such as data set, ML model, pipeline and ML scale. You can see those steps as soon as you enter AI center and we will also look at this when we actually go on the screen and we look at that. Now we will talk about both the algorithms. First, the type of model which are retrainable models. So to explain retrainable models, I will take an example of a student. Okay. Now I will explain you this with very basic understanding. Sorry for the handwriting. It's very bad I know, but it's okay. So I will start with student. The first thing which can relate to the data set for student is the books. Now let's say a student has decided to learn some subject which is physics or chemistry that subject is nothing but the machine learning model now physics is a machine learning model chemistry is a machine learning model to learn physics to learn chemistry he need books that book from where he is going to learn is nothing but his data set of knowledge so the data set we will compare it with books correct so he need books and he decided to learn a subject which is nothing but your ML model okay now when he learns this specific subject from the books correct the data set is the reference point of learning now even though he learns the entire he learns throughout the entire year or throughout the entire semester you still ask student to take an examination to test how much he has learned from this particular book correct similarly how you know that how accurate your machine learning model is for that you decide that machine learning model should go through the entire book and then you take an exam of this particular machine learning model to check how accurately he has learned this particular data. To know that, you decide that book's data set into 80% and 20%. This is the standard division that you should do while using machine learning. You divide the data set into 80%, 20%. In that 80%, what you have is the training data set and in the 20% you have test data set. So 80% data set you pass for training, 20% data set you pass for testing. Okay. Now once you perform this pipeline with 80% and 20% of data set, then when you get a specific threshold accuracy, let's say when you, when a student passes a particular class and jumps to the next class, only when he acquires a particular threshold value of percentage for that specific subject let's say 70%, 50%, whatever it could be. Similarly, for machine learning model, we check the score of the machine learning model and based on the score, we decide to deploy it in the ML skill, which is to deploy it in the orchestrator and to use it in the live workflow. So based on the subject, we create an ML skill, which is nothing but next class. Or you can say this student is pass. Correct? So this is how with the student example, <clears throat> we can see how retrainable machine learning model works. Now let's take an example of non-retrainable machine learning model. The machine learning model which has already, which is already trained, which is already trained with certain type of data set and which is trained for a specific use. Let's look at that with an example. So for that, I will take an example of an employee. Okay. Now you want to hire new employee in your organization. Okay. Now, you need this employee to work on RPA projects to work on data sets or, or to work on uh, let's say some automation. This employee has already experience of three years or two years and this employee has already learned some specific tool. Let's say he has already learned UiPath. He knows how to use UiPath. Now in your organization, what you have is a project, the project of RPA. This RPA, the requirement that you have is nothing but the ML model. Now here data set, this employee already has learned over the period of uh, this three to four years with his experience. So the data set is not needed because employee already has experience, which is his experience. Correct. The ML model 
is your project for which you require the specific employee correct his skills now do you need to retrain him no because he already has this experience so retraining is also skipped no need to retrain correct this employee or reskill this employee on the new technology unless you have to finally you have the project you know this employee is dedicated to this particular project and you deploy this employee to the project so you deploy this employee to the project which is nothing but deploying it to ml skill so in case of a non retrainable machine learning model you simply have to utilize this employee to a specific project his skills are already definite the data set the knowledge he already has the knowledge he already knows what is what he has already trained on he has been doing it from last 3 to 4 years and now he is doing it and helping you with the real time project so this is how i i wanted to explain you with a basic example or real life example how retrainable and non retrainable machine learning model works now let's go ahead and look it on our screen that how exactly it looks in ai center now let's look at how easy it is to create your first machine learning model and use it within your rpa workflow right now we are on cloud.uipath.com let's navigate to admin <clears throat> let's navigate to ai center you might already know how to ai how to enable the ai center if you don't know that ai center comes with only enterprise license so you first of all need to navigate to licenses click on the enterprise trial click here you will see an option to request enterprise trial once you request the enterprise trial then you will get enterprise trial license once you get that license <clears throat> you have to create a new tenant on the default tenant you won't be able to do that so create a new tenant and then enable the ai center with the edit services and once you enable that navigate to ai center and as you can see this is where we can create our machine learning projects which integrates with our uh, orchestrator's ml skill now what we have already seen on the board let's look at how and what are the different types of machine learning models that are retrainable and what are the machine learning models that are non retrainable so you simply need to click on create project just give it a name okay give it some description and let's say create <clears throat> so you simply create a project once you create a project navigate to data set now you already know the steps here right so these are the steps that you need to follow in order to create a machine learning model or in order to create a ml skill so first of all you have to upload your data set here now you can create a new folder you can create a folder you can upload the files here as you have already seen go to ml packages and here you have two options which is upload zip file or out of the box packages now let's navigate to out of the box packages and what are the out of the box packages let's look at that so first we have ui paths in house ui path document understanding models click on that and you can see there are different document understanding models such as document classifier document understanding invoices invoices australia invoices india japan purchase order receipts and utility bills which you can use which is ui paths in house machine learning models now let's look at some of the open source packages that you can use where you do not have to code explicitly any machine learning model in python you can reuse this machine learning models let's start with image analysis you have image moderation object detection now look at this here you can see example of both retrainable and non retrainable so object detection is a retrainable machine learning model right now let me just refresh it image analysis object okay so object detection as you can see here you can see here the tag called as retrainable now this retrainable means that you you have to create a data set select the package train this particular data machine learning model in pipeline and then deploy it on ml skill but as you can see this is this model you can use both ways you can directly deploy it because this is this ml package is pre trained on the coco data set where you have already 80 classes of coco data set trained so you do not have to retrain explicitly you can use it as non retrainable model also but you can retrain this machine learning model also so this is one of the category of a machine learning model which is available in uh, which is available in ui paths ai center now let's go back and look at the image moderation machine learning model now in image moderation machine learning model you can see item description where this is completely non retrainable machine learning model now what do i mean by non retrainable machine learning model non retrainable means you you cannot train this model this is pre trained model which is going to give you specific output which is the class of the image and the input is the path of the image file okay now let's look at some other machine learning models which are open source 
let's look at language analysis so in the language analysis you can see linguistic classification is one of the best example of a retrainable machine learning model which is not pre trained which explicitly have to be retrained you have to retrain the model you need to upload data set select the package train this particular model and then deploy it and use it you cannot directly use it this is not pre trained at all so this model is a completely retrainable model you can also see the version of the package there are uh, there is a 2.0 version which is available right now now let's look at the example of pre trained machine learning model which is sentiment analysis so this model which is one of the most used models is non retrainable because it is already trained with huge amount of data set and it gives a specific output which is the sentiment from the input text that you give as an input correct so this is how non retrainable machine learning model works okay now let's go back to the out of the box packages and you can see here in the language uh, comprehension <clears throat> in the language comprehension we have question answering which is again non retrainable model now these are all non retrainable models okay this is uh, you can retrain this these are already pre trained models let me just close this and then finally we see that uh, we have tabular data which is purely retrainable models which you can use so this is how you can create a machine learning model in ai center which once you deploy will navigate uh, once we create ml skill will go to your august editor and you can leverage that particular ml skill to create a machine learning model and a component for your use so i hope you are now completely clarified with the concept and with the idea of how this uh, training and retraining of the models works and how to use ui path ai center so this is a very pure basic of ui path ai center i hope you are now clear with the clarification with the idea of how to use ai center and how to begin with ai center now going further you go ahead and check all the videos on my youtube channel which are mostly concentrated on ai center usability and also we will launch some of the videos where i will actually deploy some of the machine learning models which are non retrainable or trainable retrainable models and we will look at that and we will see how we can utilize them within our workflow so using machine learning is now very easy you do not have to code in python you do not have to build actual machine learning arithmetical models you can simply go ahead and reuse already existing models in the market this is how easy it is it is right now and has become just because of ui path ai center thank you so much ui path for this wonderful product and i hope to see you guys in the next video if you really like this video please comment like share and subscribe and thanks so much for watching my youtube channel happy automation see you again